Welcome to our Future Learn course on Teaching Probability. My name is David Spiegelhalter. Probability is important. None of us know what is going to happen in the future, and probability provides a structure and language for analysing the uncertainty we all face. Every day we hear about the risks that might come from our environment or our behaviour, what the weather might be tomorrow, how the climate might change in the future, and we have to decide whether to take out insurance or even what medical treatments to accept. So some understanding of probability is a vital skill for dealing with everyday life, apart from it being fascinating in its own right. But probability is not generally well taught in schools. It can be reduced to an abstract algebraic level, which has little to do with realistic applications. Also, the curriculum often jumps very quickly from obvious things such as a one in six chance of getting a six on when throwing a die to combining probabilities, which is much more complex than generally is given credit for. I'm often asked why people find probability unintuitive and difficult, and I reply that after years working on the topic, I finally concluded that probability can be unintuitive and difficult, unless it is taught in a clear and transparent way. This course introduces an idea that should help that teaching. Hello, my name is Jenny Gage. I taught probability in UK schools during my career as a classroom teacher. I never felt I did it particularly well. Then some 15 years ago, I went out to South Africa to teach teachers who had never studied probability. It was new on their curriculum at that time. They had enormous problems with the way we do it here, which is what I took with me. The coins, the dice, the cards. In particular, they couldn't get their heads around a six on a die not meaning six, but meaning something else, maybe a goal scored or something. And I started to wonder what our year sevens make of it all. At the same time, I'd started working with David Spiegelhalter and was really impressed with his approach, using whole numbers as far as possible. A colleague in South Africa gave me the idea of spinners and a new way forward opened up. I worked on the classroom resources both with South African teachers and with classes and teachers in the UK. Eventually, David and I felt we had enough material to write a book, which proved very timely as the new GCSE curriculum in the UK, for instance, uses the idea of natural frequencies, whole numbers. And so the book and the course are very much of the moment. This week, we will start by trying to pin down what we mean when we talk about probability and give you a chance to reflect on the importance of this topic. We will then fairly quickly get down to some practical ideas for teaching probability, getting you to do experiments, collect the results, and represent the outcomes in a range of ways.